Okay, I'm gonna start off this video with a bit of an apology. Over the last several weeks, I've received emails from a lot of people from the Bedrock community that I have somewhat not taken as seriously as I should have. The reason is because I replied to them saying that it was an inevitable situation it really isn't. It was a little bit crass of me, but now there's a picture of a salmon in front of you. Now, before I get into the meat of this topic, excuse the pun, let me scroll over to this feedback page here. So this is a page that I almost always knock off as unimportant, but it feels like I should put more weight into this now. This is a feedback page titled, Request to Continue Providing PDB Files in Future BDS Versions. That seems like a bit of a mouthful for a lot of you. I will clarify everything as I get into it. Now, the person here who is anonymous, but I think I know who it is, actually I found out who wrote it, has written a plea to Mojang, which really is a plea to Microsoft, I think, to restore access to a PDB file. Here they say that historically they've been crucial for debugging, which is true, and maintaining plugin loaders, which is also true. Now before I explain all of this to you guys, what I want you guys to do, just to make up for my shortcoming, my error as aforementioned, the best thing you can probably do right now is to vote on this. If this affects you, if this is something that you guys feel is important to you, leave a comment, vote on this. I'm sure it does something. Okay, so this is quite clearly a salmon because it looks like the Minecraft salmon that's just flopping on the ground, quite possibly about to die. What I'm gonna do now is apply a pixelation filter over it. Now it is an eight and a half pixel mess and you don't really know what it is. You can show this to a lot of people and they won't know what they're looking at. Luckily, when Minecraft was compiled and made public, they provided what is known as a PDB file. Salmon.pdb. Basically like a program database which provides deobfuscation of certain functions in the game. So this is crucial because what that allows modders to do is look up certain things like this salmon, for example, and say, Oh, I know this is a salmon and it does salmon things. Without this file, this remains a mystery. Or you can see this and be like, what am I looking at? This can do one of 10 million different things. These PDB files are critical to modding. There are fears that Java edition will be affected here. It's like impossible for Java mods to ever disappear. This is all available. You can see everything is still legible via class structure. In C++, you don't really have that. So they relied on PDB files. And here's an example of a PDB file. I actually found this back in 2019. It's actually kind of strange that players even have access to this. PDB files are normally removed and not publicized because of security reasons. For some reason, the Bedrock community has access to this and it's a luxury and they've used this to their advantage. And as they should because it prevents hacking, patching exploits Mojang haven't even found themselves themselves. Now about a week and a half ago, Microsoft decided that they were no longer going to give players access to this file. They were gonna change it and in exchange, give something else. There is a discussion here, dated June 8 on Twitter, at Brinkmanship, who's the director of the Minecraft Partner Program, which is the marketplace. This is kind of their intended direction here, which is to remove PDB files with uh, improved protocol documentation, which a lot of the authorities in the community are basically trashing because they don't want that. So the outcries, I think it's pretty safe to say you shouldn't be flippant about this. A very quick, simple search of this issue on the feedback page already speaks volumes about how critical this is for everyone involved. Do give this a vote and comment on it. Before this video, I don't even know a lot of you guys realize that Bedrock servers exist even beyond the ones that you see here. The Hive, Cubecraft, Enchanted Dragons, Galaxite, Mineville, Lifeboat. You can add your own servers here, right? So those are the ones that are more vulnerable now because hackers can bypass any existing protocol that they had that is no longer supported by this change. I guess that does explain why I was a bit dismissive about the emails because I was a bit defeatist about all this. I know that when Microsoft makes a change, it's very difficult for them to deviate from this purpose. All I can really ask for you guys to do is vote on this. I'm sure the discussion will continue in the comments. If you're worried that this is gonna affect Java edition, it will not. And I kind of just wanna leave off with this. Please stop providing obfuscation map in view of the recent removal of the Bedrock Edition's PDB, in order to improve the security of Minecraft, it is recommended to remove the Java Edition's obfuscation map. And then everyone's just like, yeah, that's really cool. You guys did this to Bedrock, do this to Java Edition. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. It's kind of, kind of sucks. We'll see what we can do to remedy this.